Danny Berg with us here at the John Mandola Show talking about the Valley View Boys uh, soccer team. And uh, Coach, what do we have here in 2019? Um, 2019, uh, rebuilding year a little bit from us. Uh, we had uh, 11 seniors last year's team. We only returned four uh, starters who basically had any type of significant playing time last year. Um, and the seniors that we graduated, they had started for two years. So, you know, um, early early lumps uh, just you know these kids have known each other a long time but just getting used to playing each other in a new system um, and learning each other's tendencies is the growing pains that we're going through right now some of the leadership uh, that you have out of these guys uh, you know you got guys like Cole who, who's gone through some adversity at a young age and seems to kind of like you know he, he's grown up and he, he seems like he's got a vision but you know, talk about his leadership and, and some of the other guys' leadership. Yeah, real fortunate uh, with the captains that we have. Um, Sam is the middle of three Cole brothers, um, and, and I've been, Ben played for us the last couple of years. He just graduated. He's at Penn Tech now, uh, and Matt's a sophomore on the team. And like you said, dealing with adversity, lost their father at a young age. Um, and they're all three very different kids. Matt, uh, Sam's our free spirit on the team, um, and, and it's, it's really engaging to the kids. And Joel's leadership is more, all right, let's go. Everybody's got to count right now. In unison, we got to go with it. Um, you know, and, and Jack Eastless is our other, our other captain, and, and he's just a student of the game. So it's really good, and our team picked our captains. You know? So the kids obviously know best as to they see what time they're putting in and effort and things like that but yeah you hit the nail on the head with with sam dealing through adversity and so he doesn't let the small things uh bother him so much and you got some younger guys like shay who kind of seem pretty darn confident probably have some athleticism they bring yeah. and, and love the game of soccer he does um shay's a sophomore and you know anytime he started as a freshman you know and and on that team that was senior heavy and he he plays competitive all year round he plays with uh lehigh valley united and was part of their academy team through the years um, and in the past year, Shea's grown about six inches. You know, so he was the small kid on the field last year, and now he's grown six inches. So he's got a little bit of growing pains, um, but it's such a pleasant sight to see. He hit the gym hard. All the kids hit the gym hard this year. I think they saw an opportunity with how many we graduated. They were in the, the field house down with the football stadium and lifting, and some of them are doing CrossFit, and some are doing some other things. So it's been real, real helpful. If you stay after it, you know, as an adult, as a teacher, as a coach, as an educator, as a parent. Eventually kids are gonna buy in, you hope. And sometimes at age nine, sometimes it's 19, 35, you know, right. sometimes yeah. they get it. But you're talking to a few of your guys, they, they, they bought into what you're selling, um, they believe in you, they feel like you, you've helped bring out the best in them. Um, whether you go 11 and two or, or seven and seven, those are the things that really mean something. Right, I, um, this is my fourth year at Valley View. I spent 10 years prior to that as the women's coach at Lackawanna College. I started the program in 2005. And creating a culture is something that I've developed through the years. And they're not necessarily gonna remember, like you said, if we went 11 or two or seven and seven, but they're gonna remember the opportunity that we had when we had a bonfire before the season started. Um, coming here today, you know, those are the things. I'm all about creating experiences and opportunities and allowing them to grow as human beings. Because at the end of the day, how many of them are going to play in college or even play professionally? And I want to instill in them teaching um, how to be a good person. You know, like picking someone up, you know, whether you're a senior who gets benched, but you're the first one cheering on the sidelines. Um, standing up, clapping when they're coming off the field. And we do a really good job of bridging the gap between freshman and senior. You know, when we leave practice, most sports, even when I was growing up, freshmen grab the balls, you know. And here, if you're the first one to leave, you're the first one to grab something. You know, so if you want to hurry up and get out, that's fine. But you're going to be the first ones grabbing something. And you'd be amazed at how slow people are to leave. <laughs> <laughs> when you listen to these guys right now, again, we go back to that point of, that's what it's all about. They're there, they're chatting. Um, yeah. They may be on their phones a little bit, but we hear conversations over there. Right? That's a good thing. Talk a little bit about, um, you know, the bus rides and the practices and, the, and the, the sweat and the tears that go into, hey, you guys fought hard in that Catula tournament, and you know what? Hey, might not have been the best team, but you're right there. Right, right. Um, just, it's, it's fun, you know, and, and having them have the conversation now and, and at practice, um, it's, you learn more about them as people, right? So the Catula tournament, you know, we're, we're, we're young. You know, we played North Pocono twice in two days. We played them in the host, our home season opener in conference, and we beat them one nothing. You know, those kids remember, hey, listen, we know we got to work on this. We got to work on that. Sometimes they're their best critics, and I learn more from them through 
letting them see me as a human being and not just someone who's an authoritative figure. You know, obviously, you know, when push comes to shove, you got to tighten the reins. Um, but they know that we've, like I said before, culture is a big thing for me. We've developed it. Um, and and it's, it's fun. My, my wife tells me all the time, she's like, oh, you're hanging out with your high school friends again. <laughs> um, but they're enjoyable to be around, you know, and you, they, they buy in for themselves because they know they're representing themselves. Um, they're representing the school, but most importantly, they're representing their family. And at the end of the day, that's the most important thing. And that's something that's derived in myself and any assistant that I've ever had. And it's nice to see successful programs in the same season. Hey, football's doing pretty well. Yeah. Hey, the soccer team's doing pretty well, or the golf team, or the tennis team, for that right. matter. Like, and, and there's a rapport amongst our coaches. And obviously, a lot of times, the te they teach in the school. And I, I'm, I don't teach at Valley View or anything. Um, but, you know, text messages between myself and Coach Juan, it's like, hey, good luck, you know, this upcoming season. And him saying, hey, I saw you got them back, you know. Um, you know, and that's, you develop those relationships through the years, and it doesn't matter if you see them all the time or you don't. But they also care because they're all kids that they have in school. You know, I'm with, we're with Jerry Pickard every day, you know. Hey, how we doing over there? You know, leave my tennis balls alone. <laughs> but, and he's built such an incredible program, and he was my track coach. Yeah. back in the day you know um, so the last couple of years success is breeding success you know everybody wants to be part of it and you know you can just you can have a successful year at three and ten if that's the best you could do and my biggest thing is effort requires zero skill so if you have all the effort in the world and you just don't come out on top that's fine but when you don't put in that effort and you expect to have you know positive results it's, it's not really a reality Coach, my pleasure chatting with you. My pleasure seeing the guys tonight, and I hope you have a lot yeah. of success. I think seeing what you had, uh, you have had already a lot of success yeah, here in 2019. And I appreciate you having us down here and, and you know giving us the opportunity so people could see what Valley View Soccer is all about. All right, go get them. All right, thanks.